We have to... Okay, this is uh, Nasir Gazda uh, at the Kapolani Community College and we are looking at the Kuo Kaimaki, a lava rock that is <coughs> called the blocky lava. Now this volcano which is in the township of Kaimaki in the city and county of Honolulu has a different kind of lava that is we call blocky lava. Now this blocky lava is a huge block. So we can see these blocks are very, very resistant. This volcano may have been formed only 10,000 years ago, but we can see that the rock is very, very resistant. Now, so again we will do our acid test. Yeah, of course we will use the, uh, this uh, uh, example of the chalk that the uh, to differentiate between sedimentary and igneous rock, we use the acid. So here is chalk, which is a sedimentary rock, and we will see the reaction with the acid. So of course here indicates that this is a secondary or sedimentary rock. Now the lava rock would not react. So here, uh, please come. So here I am pouring the acid on this blocky lava that is mo uh, mostly basaltic. So here there is no reaction. So this uh, is the igneous rock. It has been extruded on the surface of the earth by cooling of lava. lava. Now we are in Hawaiian Islands, so here the weathering is very rapid. And within a couple of hundred years, uh, we look uh, at this uh, weathering process. So because of high humidity, we have a lot of the microbes and lichens. So here you see the green color. Green color. So this is an organism, lichens. This is not olivine crystals. Okay. So now these lichens eat up the rock. When they eat up the rock, of course we, you can differentiate this is the white color and this is the color of the organism just like a fungus so this green color has been made due to the weathering by lichens so lichens are the primary organism that eat the rock and convert the rock gradually into smaller pieces now this rock this blocky lava has a lot of iron so now again we see the right here we see the brown color the brown color shows uh, that the, it has been oxidized. So we have oxygen in our atmosphere and these microbes, uh, because of this weathering process, produce oxygen. And oxygen is the one that has given life to the, uh, our Earth's you know, uh, uh, ecological system. So in Hawaiian Islands, we have a lot of the uh, variety. Even in one blocky lava are the work of organism and the work of the nature's um, ultimate for that the volcano. So this is again remember this is not our uh, usual a, a lava or pahoi hoi lava. This is a blocky lava which is maybe less than 10,000 years old and it is very resistant. So uh, at Kapolani Community College campus uh, um, we, we, we have built a campus on this uh, 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 Kaimaki or Puo Kaimaki uh, lava dome and this is very unique. Uh, so again remember in Hawaiian Islands uh, we have a richness of the rocks not only the sedimentary rocks but we have a lot of the varieties of the lava and its texture. Just like the Baskin Robbins <laughs> flavor Hawaiian lava flows come in a lot of you know, texture or flavor. So this is the blocky lava. Uh, so thank you. And then if you want to explore more about Hawaiian Islands, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and discover more about the beauty, beauty and uniqueness of the Hawaiian Islands and their, you know, natural beauty. Thank you. Mahalo, domo arigato, sayonara, mucho gracias.